Oh man, just got off the phone with uh, one of my best friends on the planet, like a brother to me for, um, geez, three decades now. And, you know, those are the guys and gals that, <laughs> you know, that's when the insecurities start popping up. And, you know, he, he'd send me this just really awesome text about, uh, he's been reading my book and those are the guys that on one hand, I'm like, I know he's going to support me and I, I, I hope they're going to give me a good review and thumbs up and I get this great text from him and he's like, man, reading your book is like having you sit there and you just have the right information, the right wisdom at the right time with those little nuggets and it's like having you sit there next to me and having a conversation and man, I'm like, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm filled with joy and yeah, that's the cold weather, uh, wiping tears out of my eyes or it may just be some emotions that I'm feeling right now when I have, you know, people that I'm really close to that give me such a massive, massive, uh, self-image boost, you know, no matter where you are in life, we all have insecurities at some level, some way, somehow. And I think the person that says that they, that they don't have any is full of crap and they're still living behind their, hiding behind their ego. You just don't ever know when they're going to pop up and show their ugly head, but man, what a great conversation. And you know who you are. You'll be listening to this. I'm sure I love you. So awesome to have amazing people in your life that, you know, they lean on you when, when they need you and you just know you can lean on them when you need somebody. So I just, uh, just want to share that such an amazing experience to get, you know, some acknowledgement and some affirmation that you're doing good work, that you're putting good work out in the world and that you're really making an impact in other people's lives. And, and, uh, man, it just makes me feel so good. And, you know, thinking back to where I was 10, 11 years ago, and I was in a bad place, hundred pounds heavier, drinking a lot, eating a lot, and thinking about, you know, what it took to overcome those things. And, and, you know, when I say overcome, that just means overcome the thing that was holding me back at that moment. It doesn't mean you overcome everything in life. And, that's why I say, you know, these insecurities sneak up on you. And, and I think that's why the affirmations and the, and the little boosts from the key people in you, in your life around you that add tremendous value to your life. You know, they were there when, when you were in those bad times and they were the ones that helped pull you through. So I just love, just love people and you know, my friend says, why'd you write this book? And, you know, he didn't ask because he didn't know the answer. He asked because he wanted me to say it out loud and because I want people to win. Because I know everybody, especially everybody listening to this right now, has it in them to win in a big way. You just may not have the, the right tools and the right people in your life right now to help you do it. So I, 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 just, I just beg you to work hard, work hard to find the real you and find the right people in your life that can help expose that to yourself and live an amazing life. So I'm filled with joy right now. I'm filled with happiness. And uh, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody that's in my life that's had a, a small part or a huge part in that. Because remember, no matter who you are, you're impacting somebody at some level. So make sure it's uh, putting the good in other people. Cheers.